Britain's energy watchdog Ofgem has proposed a new plan to improve the financial health of the operating energy suppliers. Last year, over 30 energy suppliers in the UK stopped their operations due to a sharp rise in wholesale energy prices, which triggered widespread losses. The new move is expected to save a number of energy companies from going bust and protect consumer credit balance if a certain company does fail. It would also prevent energy suppliers from charging high direct debit payments and allow firms to have sufficient control over key assets. The measures announced are intended to improve the financial health of energy suppliers to overcome the sharp surge in wholesale energy prices amidst record high inflation, the Ukraine crisis and also the cost of living crisis. Ofgem raised the energy price cap by 54% in April to £1,971 per year. Last month, it stated there will be a further hike by £800 to about £2,800 in October, which might take the inflation above 11% in the final quarter of the year. These announcements have the potential to impact plenty of suppliers, but let's focus on three of them for now, beginning with Centrica. Shares of Centrica, an international energy services and solutions company, were up by about 0.47% on June 20, trading at GBX 77.8. The company holds a market capitalisation of £4.57 billion as of 20th of June. The performance of the FTSE 250 index constituent has appreciated over the past year, with a one-year return as of 20th of June standing at 52.47%. Drax Group the shares of the power generation company Drax Group were up by 3.24% on the 20th of June 2022 and were trading at GBX 621.5. The company holds a market capitalisation of £2.41 billion as of the 20th of June. The performance of the FTSE 250 index constituent has appreciated over the past year with a one year return as of the 20th of June standing at 44.53%. And lastly, SSE PLC. The shares of electricity network company SSE were up by 1.1% on the 20th of June 2022 and were trading at GBX 1605. The company holds a market cap of £16.94 billion as of June 20. And the performance of the FTSE 100 index constituent has appreciated over the past year with a one year return as of June 20 standing at 5.11%. So what are your thoughts on the new energy regulation plans in Britain? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and share the video. For more content, subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon.